Hello everyone, uh, very good morning to everyone joining us this Friday morning. I'm Kritika Saxena. A lot of you would have seen our notification and press release, which has been sent to the stock exchanges and our stakeholders. Uh, without further ado, we want to throw more light <coughs> into it. So I want to bring in and introduce our management who's here. So we have with us Rajesh Gopinathan, MD and CEO. And Hi. we have with us uh, K. Kriti Vasan, Global Head of BFSI and CEO designate. Hi, everyone. Hi, everyone. And as always, we're going to start with Rajesh giving uh, his opening remarks, and then Kritika is going to follow. Rajesh, the floor is yours. Thank you, Kritika, and uh, good morning, everyone. And uh, it's a it's an odd uh, day today, but uh, I'm very happy to uh, announce that after 22 years in TCS, I'm stepping down and handing over charge to Kriti. It has been a fantastic journey for me. 22 years with TCS, 27 years with the group. And uh, it's a period which I've seen uh, and learned almost everything that I know. Uh, as you know, uh, we've gone through multiple phases. Uh, the early on, the change into the new era of 2001 e-business, uh, many roles. Um, enjoyed a lot under the mentorship of Chandra and saw him drive this company to become one of the leading, if not the leading, uh, IT providers globally. And uh, in the last six years, it has also been an absolute thrill to lead this fantastic team. I've always said that uh, it happened uh, momentously for me in 2017, uh, very unprepared. But the way the team stood together, uh, the whole task was made much simpler than I could have ever imagined. And it has been a thrill in the last six years also. Uh, we have done well together. Uh, we managed to grow to a run rate of now $28 billion. And the market has also been rewarding us. And most importantly, from our employee side, we have continued to attract the best talent. And people love working for us, as it shows through in our retention and our ability to continuously transform. I want to also thank uh, our customers who have continued to trust us and have continued to repose their trust in this relationship, which goes beyond individuals and it has been with the institution throughout. And that trust has been the cornerstone of our success. And I'm grateful for uh, everything that I enjoyed from the start. And I'm sure that it will also continue as uh, Kriti now takes over. So overall, uh, a day of mixed feelings for me. I'm happy where we are. I'm also a bit uh, sad. Now that uh, the reality of and uh, momentousness of this step is uh, slowly uh, sinking in. But uh, like in all these things, I think uh, once uh, you make up your mind or the thought starts coming into you, it is best to do it early rather than to sit and think about it for too long. So I uh, once again thank all of you, your love, your attention, your questions. Uh, it has also been a big motivator uh, for us for uh, egging that performance on. And uh, I'm sure uh, that will continue to be the case with uh, TCS as Kriti takes it on. So let me pause here and hand it over to Kriti, and then we'll be happy to take questions. Sure. Thanks, Rajesh. Uh, good morning, everyone. It's uh, absolutely a great honor uh, to be chosen to lead this organization. And it's, of course, a, in my view, big responsibility as well. Uh, TCS has been built on two important uh, foundational pillars of uh, uh, customer centricity, as well as a huge set of employees who are always committed and who are given their best to TCS. So it gives us a great platform of growth. And over my 35 years in TCS, I've enjoyed every moment working with this team and particularly the leadership team who has continued to foster the culture of one TCS and working only for the betterment of TCS, betterment of our clients. And uh, with all the best wishes from everyone, I'm hoping to lead this company and double down on our core pillars of uh, customer centricity, meeting more employees and meeting more customers and making the relationship stronger. Looking forward to working with all of you in future. Thank you so much, Kriti, and thank you so much, uh, Rajesh. Uh, we're going to uh, throw the floor open for questions, as Rajesh said. So um, I 
strongly request everybody for interest of time and so that we can accommodate as many questions. We would request you to stick to one question, please. And of course, we'll be meeting very soon again for the quarter results press conference. So you will have them to answer all your questions. Let's start with ET now, um, Nikunj Talmia. Nikunj, you can uh, unmute yourself and switch on your uh, camera. Rajesh, good morning. Uh, thank you for joining us. So Rajesh, first my sincere compliments. I mean, TCS shareholders, I'm sure they're mighty excited under your tenure. The company has enjoyed uh, uh, great growth, great P multiples, and really became a formidable force to reckon with in the Indian IT space. But Rajesh, even though TCS has enjoyed a very stable quarter, <coughs> it has a very stable leadership, the timing of your exit Rajesh is something which perhaps is making everybody slightly nervous. At a time when the IT sector is getting bulldozed and concerns are there in the US BFSI space, do you think this timing could have just waited? Nikunj, if you look at it over the last uh, 10 years, uh, I mean, this is probably the most stable time that we have seen in uh, many years. Uh, think about the financial crisis, think about the pandemic, think about everything else that went on, the war that was uh, started off last year. So uh, this level of volatility, I would say, is par for the course. And uh, yes, there will be some ups and downs. So that definitely is absolutely not a, a question. In fact, uh, in times of crisis, we have always uh, come together and uh, absolutely stood together as a team. And then uh, when I was reflecting in terms of what would be a, a good time, I felt that uh, there's no better time than this. And also, it was important to do this before the start of the new financial year, so that uh, the incoming uh, CEO, in this case, Kriti, has that full runway to play with it. So from an uh, immediacy perspective, uh, just before the start of the year, so that the whole year can be owned. And from a slightly longer term perspective, we have brought the volatility of the uh, pandemic to a fair state. Uh, we have registered um, very strong growth, first bouncing off the pandemic lows with 15%. And then over the last uh, nine months also, we have still grown at 14.8% uh, and uh, crossed big milestones. We crossed uh, 7 billion and we are now at a run rate of 28 billion. So when you look forward, uh, I don't think there is going to be another period where you know, there will be significantly difference in that uh, stability for it to be. So. It goes back to that question that uh, you know you asked it why now and i asked myself if not now will there be a better time and uh, the frank answer was i couldn't think that there could be anything better and therefore it made okay. most logical sense so rajesh the immediate follow-up question is when did you inform chandra what was his first reaction and uh, how did it go through and what is next for rajesh gopinathan now everybody is curious about that so i'm lending two questions into one yeah, in terms of, uh, I've been having uh, discussions with Chandra off and on. And uh, of course, you know, when there is an immediate problem, we always focus on that. But uh, in moments of retrospection, I've always been telling him that, uh, you know, at some point I want to do it. And uh, so that's been an ongoing uh, dialogue. Uh, the immediate one was, of course, that, uh, as I said, it, and I think it, this is the way it happens with everybody, probably, that one day you get up and then you say that, okay, we have thought about it and uh, spoken about it long enough, uh, it is better to you know, uh, pull the trigger as it were. So that happened just a week or so ago. But it's a conversation that has been ongoing. What next is first, uh, I have to make sure that the transition happens smoothly. And uh, with Kriti being there, I don't think that is a challenge at all. But I owe it to all our customers, all our colleagues, our employees, and all stakeholders to make sure that uh, I am there for whatever time that Kriti needs. And uh, if nothing, it might be even symbolic. But I definitely have no uh, plans to skimp on that and will be available to Kriti 100%, not just during this transition period, at any uh, point in time in future. After that, I want to take some downtime and uh, spend some time with family, sit back and then think, uh, you know, yeah, many ideas are there. But now that the trigger has been pulled, I need to start crystallizing what those are. And it would not have been appropriate for me to go down that path while I was uh, doing something as important as this, and uh, which required more than 100% of my attention all the time. So that's the, that's the plan. 
so probably we will get to catch up and have that cup of coffee that we have been always talking about. And I am looking forward to some downtime. Thank you. Thank you, Nikun. Thank you, Rajesh. Uh, Reema Tendulkar from CNBC. Reema, you can try to switch on your video and audio and join, please. Uh, gentlemen, uh, you know, with a heavy heart, you know, and you know, asking these questions, Rajesh, I'm truly going to be missing all our conversations every quarter, talking about the numbers. So while you tear up, uh, I've got a very heavy heart as well. But Rajesh, my first question is: uh, When you chatted with Chandra about succession planning at TCS, who next? Uh, what were the thoughts? What were the conversations like? I know TCS has had a policy of promoting the insiders, but could you help us, you know, talk about what? led you all to narrow in on Kriti as uh, you know the next CEO, what were the qualities, why did you select Kriti as you know, point number one and secondly, um, you know, in the next six months, what are the steps that you will be making sure to ensure that the transition is going to be extremely smooth? Uh, and Kriti, my question is, uh, what would be your top five priorities now for the next five years? Will reversing TCS's underperformance versus enforces be a priority? Will you be looking to change the margin guidance? Any big strategic changes? Any big, um, you know, changes in the organization that you would like to affect? Thank you. Uh, thanks, Rima. You know, <clears throat> it's uh, very nice to hear you say that uh, you're going to be missing it. We used to be dreading your, uh, you know, five pages of notes, and uh, <laughs> you know, it was easier to navigate the board meeting than uh, the uh, day after. But uh, jokes aside, uh, it's always been a uh, pleasure, as I said, uh, it's something that kept on uh, egging us on. Uh, your question <laughs> was that uh, how did we narrow on to uh, uh, Kriti, right? Uh, see, in uh, TCS, uh, we have a very transparent and very cohesive culture. We have always said that it's been about collective leadership. So the board has very high visibility to the you know a very large part of the leadership team, and there is very close interaction on an ongoing uh, basis. So the top 10-15 uh, people get in front of the board many times a year. There is a lot of uh, interaction. And plus, of course, uh, Chandra, and, as the chairman, knows each and every one of them personally, professionally, for you know, decades. So uh, our approach to uh, this is very unique to who TCS is. And uh, we have not tried to you know, uh, go away uh, from that. The choices uh, were, uh, I'm sure, um, uh, Chandra and the board will, uh, you know, weigh in on that, um, maybe at a later point. But uh, is on mute. We can't hear him. Uh, no, uh, Arima, that may be a problem on your end. Uh, <laughs> yes, sir. Rajesh, continue, and then we can take the oh, next my, question. All my eloquence was uh, fell on yeah. deaf ears. Yeah. <laughs> so maybe once we get Rima back on audio, we'll go back to her. Let's try the next one. Great. Uh, we have Swati Khandelwal from Z Business. Swati, you can uh, take your questions and switch on your video. My gentlemen, and uh, of course, it's a, it's a mixed day, as you said. Uh, we have Rajesh going and we have Kirti coming in. So welcome, Kirti. Thank you. And good luck, Rajesh. But uh, very quickly, Rajesh, uh, the, the number of years that you said you spent at TCS, um, and, and especially in the last five years, from where you've got the company, uh, and and you know you've talked about the road ahead. But uh, one moment or um, one um, when you look back, what is the one big achievement that you think you are taking with you, and you're very proud of? Uh, if you can tell us uh, that, and um, and of course, of course, people have already asked you what next for you, which which is still under wraps, so we will have to wait for it. But your biggest achievement, biggest takeaway, as you as you will move on from here. And I'll ask Kiti once I have your answer. Uh, Swati, actually, I was smiling as I was listening to you. Um, you know, I never wrote my resume after campus. And <laughs> on campus, uh, batchmates will know that we used to have a repository. Uh, one instance of leadership skills that you did, uh, showed, uh, one great uh, learning that you had, one failure that you had. Uh, I've had no practice in doing that for the last uh, 27, 28 years. I uh, haven't thought about it. Uh, let me say that uh, TCS has been uh, integral to uh, who I am. Uh, the group has been integral to who I am. Uh, I had never uh, any second thoughts throughout my entire period. And looking back also, I would not have done anything uh, differently. 
and uh, as I said, irrespective of what I do, uh, where I am, uh, throughout my life, TCS will be a very integral part of uh, who I am. And uh, I do hope that uh, in my own way, I've contributed to TCS, so that I'll also be an integral part of TCS, irrespective of all the great heights that TCS will go to and will continue to soar. And uh, so that is something is my biggest pride and biggest happiness that uh, you know we have been together, we have built something, we have built something of lasting value that we believe in, uh, we have strongly stood together, uh, we have not followed the herd, we are leaders and uh, most importantly uh, we are friends and we have worked together to do something that we are all proud of. So that's my greatest takeaway from TCS. Okay, sure. Kirti, uh, uh, yeah. quickly to know, as you take on the battle, what is it that uh, you will be focusing on? What are your top priorities, if I were to ask you? And uh, and how uh, how are you looking to beat the challenges that the IT sector is now you know, getting to see? And it seems that there, there will be a challenging road ahead. Uh, Swati, uh, first of all, like Rajesh was trying to explain on the process on which... Uh, I was chosen. I want to at this time thank the board and Chandra chair, our chairman Chandra as well, for giving me this opportunity. Uh, from coming to this, uh, what is going to be my strategy? Like uh, Rajesh explained that he didn't uh, have a rebuild, do his CV again. Neither did I. Right? All of us joined this organization so many years ago, and we have continued. We have enjoyed every moment. Uh, for me, it's about almost 35 years. We have enjoyed every moment in this organization. And so it's a continuum. It's not that uh, as every CEO changes, we come up with a new strategy or new set of priorities. As I men uh, mentioned before, we have a core set of beliefs and values. Okay, focusing on employees, focusing on our customers is the most important engine that drives our growth. And uh, so uh, we always try to be close to our customers. And uh, as the market situation changes, we recalibrate what we want to do, where we want to focus on. And uh, I'm sure along with Rajesh in the next six months, we'll rework on what we have to do. But the, again, so you mentioned about this uh, macroeconomic situation. Uh, our belief is uh, every time there is a change in the market, actually gives new opportunities. And just because we have a macroeconomic situation doesn't mean the customers are done with all the digital transformation and uh, they have to stop uh, doing any transformation. If at all, there is actually more need to continue. And maybe for a quarter or two, this uh, disturbance will remain. But uh, growth has to come back. Our customers have to transform and uh, leverage all the digital technologies available with them. So we'll continue to focus on transforming our customers, bringing technology to the center of their business. So in my short answer, we will not make any change. We will continue to focus on core principles and uh, fine tune as we go along. Thank you so much, uh, Kriti and Rajesh. Uh, we'll go to Harshada Savan from CNBC Awards. Harshada, you can unmute and switch on your video. Hi, Harshada, can you hear us? Okay, I think Harshada is in queue. We'll take the next one then. Uh, Chandra Srikanth from Money Control. Hi, Chandra, you can unmute uh, and uh, switch on your video. Um, hi, Rajesh. Hi, uh, Kriti. Uh, you know, someone pointed out yesterday that this is perhaps the first time that... Okay, I think we have Chandra on a bad network. <laughs> okay, so we're going to go to... Um, She's back, I think. Chandra, hi, are you back? Hi. Yes, yes, I'm back. Can you continue. Yes, please continue. Yes, please yeah, Rajesh, uh, someone pointed out yesterday that this is perhaps the first time you're tendering a resignation in your career. So, you know, that must be a very emotional uh, moment. And people I've been speaking to, you know, have been talking about how, uh, as a personality, you're a brilliant strategic thinker, but perhaps doing earnings quarter after quarter, uh, that perhaps wasn't so challenging for you. And maybe the travel also wasn't something you were fond of. I'm just trying to understand what was the final straw for you? You know, the final straw that made you realize that this is not something you want to do. Um, and will we see you joining a private equity fund? Will we see you starting up? Give us a sense of that. Um, Kriti, what are you looking forward to the most? Will you be moving to Mumbai from Chennai and take us through your own plan? Chandra, good to see you. Um, First, let me tell you that 
there is nothing more challenging than doing the quarter, quarter on quarter and making sure that, uh, you know, performance keeps up with it. Uh, whoever thinks that that's not challenging has not probably sat here long enough. Uh, so I am not, you know, I am not uh, missing that and saying that I want to something. But uh, definitely, uh, when you look back, I, I think I spoke to you last time that uh, it's been 10 years of uh, uh, doing that on a relentless basis. And I've enjoyed every minute of uh, doing it. But then sometimes when you get to those milestones, you start thinking, okay, so what's, uh, what's next? And uh, that was definitely a, a big trigger point. Uh, it looks small. It's just another number. I mean, why not 39 or why not uh, 41? But uh, it's one of those occasions when you sit back and say that you know, 10 years have passed by and uh, what do you want to do? And uh, the answer is that uh, there is nothing specific that I had in mind. And uh, uh, as I said, I have never allowed myself to think about uh, something else while I'm sitting here and doing it. I don't think that would be appropriate. And uh, I, you know, every waking minute, I've only thought about TCS. And uh, that's, uh, that's the way it has been. So uh, it is appropriate that uh, you know, when you start, your mind starts wandering, uh, it is best that uh, you say, okay, this is the best time to hand it over. And uh, then uh, do what it takes to make sure that it is smooth. Then you have all the time in the world to think about whatever else that you want to do. So that's where it is. And uh, I, I'll sit back, I'll think about everything. Your ideas are welcome, others are welcome, <laughs> but uh, uh, most importantly uh, to is to sit back and uh, reconsider and then I'll make up my mind. Kriti, you want to take that second answer? Sure. See, uh, as I already mentioned, we have a great platform to work on. So our immediate uh, priority is to continue doing that. And uh, most importantly for me, like there are certain parts of business I know quite well. I'll work with uh, Rajesh to understand what's happening in the rest of TCS. That would be my immediate priority and what are the customer needs uh, and what we should be serving and taking care of. Uh, that's the way I look at it and uh, I'm planning to take it uh, one day at a time as we go along and uh, definitely I'll shift to Bombay. <laughs> <laughs> he promised that when I took over, so that's why I'm smiling. <laughs> I think a lot of questions are answered there. Okay, we're going to, um, we're, Harshita is still in queue, she's not able to fix some technical issues. So we're going to Tushar Deep Singh from BQ Prime. Hi, Tushar, you can unmute yourself and switch on your video. Uh, hi, uh, am I audible? Yes, go ahead. Yeah, I think there's some problem with, the, with my video, so I'll be uh, not on video. Uh, congratulations, Mr. Gopinathan, on the fantastic tenure and best wishes for lot what lies ahead. But my question to you was, how will the transition now look like in terms of areas of focus, etc.? And secondly, in, if I'm not mistaken, uh, Mr. Ganapati Subramaniam achieves superannuation next year. What are the succession plans then? So, Tushar, uh, let's talk about this transition. Uh, this is not uh, rocket science. As I said, uh, both of us have worked together a lot and our teams are also very uh, stable. Uh, so, I don't expect this transition to be something very dramatic or uh, anything, but uh, we owe it to, as I said, our customers, we owe it to our colleagues, our employees, uh, and all other stakeholders uh, to do that diligently and, uh, you know, uh, to be there to talk about it. 99% of what we say, if not 100%, is not something that will come as a surprise to them. But it is important that uh, we do that and uh, we will invest that time and effort and travel and do whatever it requires to both to thank people, to pay respect to them and also to make sure that uh, they have a first-hand uh, opportunity to do that connect. So overall, I don't expect it to be uh, anything uh, major, but it is something that has to be done and we intend to do it uh, diligently. Uh, as far as NGS goes, uh, you know, mm. one year, one and a half years is quite a lot of time and uh, in the appropriateness of time, I'm sure that will also get discussed. Okay. Uh, Mr. Kriti uh, congratulations on the new role. Thank you. Uh, so, what are your plans now for the BFSI vertical, uh, now that you're moving on to a bigger role? Uh, what will be your focus area? Uh, are you going to expand the business further? How is, what will be the strategy? Uh, 
what we in what be the strategy in terms of leadership and the business at large especially in the in the us in the aftermath of the svb collapse no like uh, as i said from a overall bfsa perspective uh, <laughs> Go ahead, Bill. Yeah. No. From a BFSA perspective, like uh, we will think to go, go look at the plans. Like we will discuss with the team. We'll discuss with Rajesh and Chandra and how we have to handle that. We'll you'll you'll get to hear uh, sooner than later. Okay. But uh, again, the point I want to stress is TCS has always been an organization built on uh, continuous evolutionary approach. and we had great set of leaders coming in from and uh, we been blessed with a one team culture who were associates or always willing to step in for the sake of organization so uh, we will we really look at what is the best way uh, there are uh, so many leaders available for us we will look at uh, what is the best way to reorganize ourselves as required and, and and again like rajesh was mentioning for some other question we don't expect any dramatic change in terms of how we are going to reorganize and in terms of uh, priorities and strategies as i mentioned before uh, the what we would focus on is the core principle like uh, strategy and priority will uh, tweak as we go along every year the core principle is work closely with the customers ensure of uh, i look, look out for what their needs are uh, as proactively as possible go to them with the solutions and work with our associates who have been the bedrock of our success and go meet all of them and ensure Uh, how well we can see they are a great set of associates we have in fact uh, our role is to ensure we remove the hurdles in front of them so that uh, they perform very well so that's what we'll continue to do i don't expect or you should not expect to see a great ch strategy change or organizational change coming in future immediately thank you our reporters request you to uh, go on mute after your questions to ensure the experience is smooth uh, next question from sankalp uh, from bloomberg uh, unfortunately everyone as always has been stuck to the one question limit we will be back with you for the quarter results so request everyone to stick to one question so that we can accommodate otherwise we'll have to drop sankalp hi rajesh hi kriti uh, rajesh uh, uh, congratulations on your tenure and all the best and pretty of the best uh just one question which is uh this is a time when uh you know uh software services companies are going through a lot of uh, uh challenges in terms of what the global environment is and uh you're leaving there's a change uh, that's coming up at tech mahindra as well i just wanted to ask you as an industry leader what do you see as the next evolution for indian software sector and the companies from here on i mean your companies are not going to be looking like you have so far there is change that's needed at the companies internally as well as how you approach clients so could you all both of you give me a sense of how you see that shaping up sankalp <clears throat> as i said to an earlier uh, question uh, if you look at the volatility or the um, demand outlook uh, i don't think we are in uh, you know in a majorly concerning uh, situation yeah there is uh, you know uh, there is inflationary pressure there is uh, talk of recession so maybe the recession will materialize maybe it will be more severe than what we thought it was but that's all part and parcel of the business cycle and part of the business environment that we operate in so that's business as usual and uh, we will need to deal with it uh, one step at a time and make sure that we are uh, you know we are resilient enough to do it and we have demonstrated it time and time again so there is absolutely no doubt in our minds and there should be no doubt in anybody else's minds that uh, this is par for the course and we will uh, deal with it as appropriate the other question uh, I, you know i have always had this and now that i am on my way out i am can even be more frank i think the media uh, is too skeptical about the indian it industry uh um, yeah, first of all indian it industry is a very diverse set of players each of them have their own strategies own approaches own capabilities and skills and most importantly at every step they have proven to be resilient robust they are continuously evolved and uh, they have looked very different and at all points in time the question has been same so obviously there is a, you know some opportunity here for some editorial oversight to say that okay why are we going back and asking the same question again and again uh, there has to be some zooming out of it uh, 
uh, from a larger uh, strategy perspective, uh, I think this is a you know ongoing evolution. Uh, specifically from a TCS perspective, I think our uh, continuing focus on cost and optimization and our enhanced focus on growth and transformation will define the larger portfolio of services that we do. From an industry's perspective, we have consistently built new verticals and that will continue to play out. Our geographical focus is also very systematic and very diligent. We have built out very nicely into newer markets. We have been right at the forefront of uh, opening new markets and investing well ahead of time to secure those uh, spaces for growth. And uh, from an innovation perspective also, we are leaders in continuous investment and being able to actually create that innovation space which leads our uh, future growth strategies. So all of the basic pillars and the basic uh, organizational uh, approach infrastructure required for constantly renewing our strategies in place. And uh, we will continue on this <coughs> constant evolutionary journey. And I'm very confident that uh, we are very well poised to uh, maintain that kind of a momentum and to constantly change who we are. Thank you. Next question from Ramita Mazumdar from Economic Times. Hi, gentlemen. Congratulations to both of you. Thank I think, you, um, you know, uh, from a very millennial perspective, Rajesh, I'll tell you that it feels refreshing to see someone in your position take a step back and prioritize your life. This, uh, I mean, <laughs> congratulations uh, to that. I just want to understand, uh, Rajesh, when you look at your next step, you know, beyond TCS, do you see yourself taking a... a mentor, advisor kind of a role or do you see yourself taking more of an entrepreneur kind of a role? Which one will it be? And a query for Kriti as well, I mean, what was your reaction when you were communicated the decision? I know you've been, you've been on this job forever, so it's, it's not, doing the job is not as scary as knowing that, you know, the change of decision has actually happened. So, yeah. Ramita, first of all, to your uh, opening comment, uh, I can't tell you how happy and light I feel. You know, <laughs> it is like it's amazing. Uh, till a week back, it was like all-consuming, and uh, in the last uh, 48 hours, uh, it's just completely liberating. I have no clue what I'm going to do, but uh, you know, I'm just uh, you know, in a very different space and uh, in very very happy and uh, looking forward to that. Uh, you know. Uh, to actually doing that uh, reset. Coming to the options that you laid out, first of all, as I said, I have no clue, but uh, it'll be very interesting. Uh, you know, long back, uh, when long before I owned a car, I used to walk on the roads and, uh, you know, with an attitude that car uh, khari road thodi na khari so I can walk away anywhere. When you start driving a car, you have a different perspective about uh, pedestrians. Similarly, when it comes to advisors, when I was in an operating role, I used to hate advisors of all forms, completely, you know, straight out. So it will be interesting. Maybe now I might be, you know, the one great advisor that the world is waiting for. And uh, similarly on the, all the others. So, uh, you know, I'll have to develop a different perspective and we'll see what happens. Thank you. Our next question from Shilpa Farnes from Times of India. Shilpa, you can unmute and switch on your video. So many congratulations on a successful run and wishing you the very best in your future endeavors. Uh, it's unprecedented in the history of uh, TCS for a CEO to prematurely exit after a successful tenure and uh, navigating the most challenging times. Um, was it less about the macroeconomic environment, more about some dissonance in the senior management and with the board um, that accelerated your decision making to quit the firm? Um, second question is, are you looking at some sort of an advisory role um, in the Tata group companies? Would you explore that option? And third, if Mr. Kriti Vasan is moving on to a larger role, uh, what are some of the internal changes to BFSI? Who is the next in line for the BFSI leadership? Shilpa, uh, if you have to leave, it's always better to leave when it is good rather than when everybody is rooting to get you out. So that's my perspective that there's no better time to leave than when you are actually uh, in a good place. Uh, as far as uh, advisory roles goes, as I just mentioned, 
my uh, respect for advisors is exponentially growing. So I'll see whether uh, you know something comes out of that. But uh, as of now, uh, no plans. Yeah, as far as the BFSA goes, uh, Shilpa, as you know, it's uh, as I mentioned before, TCS has a huge and very deep set of uh, talent pool available within BFSI, outside of BFSI, and people who have done BFSA before doing something else different. So, and also because it's been a most tenured and the largest business vertical, many folks in TCS, even who are not in BFSA today, have deep knowledge in the BFSA, experience in BFSA. So it gives us a huge set of options. So it's the early days, uh, but rest assured that we will ensure that there is a very smooth transition and the right person, right structure, we will uh, work on this one. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Shivani was next, but uh, Shivani is in very bad network. Her first question has been answered. She has a lighter question for you, uh, Kriti. What is the bigger challenge, uh, CEO of TCS or moving to Mumbai? <laughs> Shivani Shinde from BS's <laughs> question. I would say moving to Mumbai. <laughs> <laughs> OK, thank See, you. Leaving Chennai is a tough decision. People that are on the call should know. Yes, I think there are a lot of our journalists who would agree. OK, next question from Varun Sooth from Mint. Uh, Hi, gentlemen. Yes, uh, go ahead, Varun. Yes, am I audible? Yes, Varun, go ahead. Hi, thank you. Rajesh, the first question I wanted to ask him was that uh, we are now in March. Uh, uh, FI23 growth would be a lot slower than FI22. Uh, big, uh, if I have to ask you, like over the last three months, uh, what's your set, what you get from speaking with clients that whether FY24 growth would be a lot less than FY23, I understand you don't get guidance, but if you can just give this qualitative statements, especially at this juncture, that would be really helpful. And second question I wanted to again ask you, and perhaps Kriti can also weigh in. Kriti at 59 is one of the oldest CEOs across the IT services companies. Uh, what was the thought process of the board when they really thought of the next, or rather when they thought of a successor to you? And does Kriti have some kind of visibility that whether it will be a three-year or a five-year term where he has when he takes over on 15th of September? Thank you. Thanks, Varun. On your first question, our uh, nine-month growth for FI23 has come in at 14.8% on CC terms. So that's very... Uh, yeah. And uh, as far as uh, forward uh, visibility into FI24 goes, now I'm in a unique situation to say that I have absolutely no clue, and uh, it's none of my business to comment on it. So uh, I will leave that to the able hands of uh, Kriti. And also, in a different forum, when we talk about the earnings and uh, year end, I think that will be an appropriate place for us to look into it. But as, right now, as I told Ramita, I'm in a happy state. And uh, one of the happiness is that I won't have to answer those questions very <laughs> soon. Uh, coming to uh, Kriti, uh, in TCS, um, the uh, retirement age for uh, executive directors is 65 years. So he easily has six years. And the appointments are always for five-year terms. So definitely, that is there. And uh, uh, the choice of uh, Kriti was also driven by um, coming in with uh, so if you look at the um, history when i took over your questions were is this guy too young now when Kriti is taking over your question is this guy too uh, old uh, those kind of questions will keep on coming the board uh, and the nrc looked at a complete variety of candidates and the current situations and what is required and what they felt is the best fit and uh, the unanimous choice was that Kriti is the best fit and the best person for the job at this point of time so well, that's where it is. And uh, I'm sure, uh, you know, uh, five, six years from now, you will be asking different set of questions to him and to whoever else is there. Thank you. And our final question from Harshada Savant, who should be back now. Hi, Harshada. You can unmute yourself if you can. goof up earlier. Uh, Rajesh, it's uh, been quite a surprise actually to hear this. Uh, I'm sure it's still sinking in for you. It's definitely sinking in for us. Uh, uh, and I'll ask you this in Hindi. 
ये विचार स्टेप डाउन करने का सबसे आपके दिमाग में चल रहा था क्योंकि आपको मार्च 2022 यानी कि पिछले साल ही पांच साल का एक्सटेंशन मिला तो ये कब से दिमाग में आया और इसे आप इस समय अंजाम दे रहे हैं और प्रदीप मैं उम्मीद कर रही हूँ कि आपसे खूब चर्चा होगी और आप हिंदी भी अच्छी से बोल पाते हैं और इतने शायद नहीं रहेंगे जितना शायद राजेश थे ये बताइएगा आपके लिए जब आपने जब आपको ये पद दिया जा रहा है आपका सबसे बड़ा चैलेंज क्या होगा टू टेक द बिजनेस फॉरवर्ड अर्षदा ऐसा है कि विचार तो कई आगे भी ऊपर नीचे चलते रहते हैं पर उसके बारे में ज़्यादा गौर नहीं किया था और ज़्यादा सोचा भी नहीं था पिछले एक दो महीनों में यू नो आपसे पिछली बार भी मेरी बात हुई थी कि दस साल हो गए अब आगे भी चलने का है काफ़ी यू नो काफ़ी टाइम बचा हुआ है तो करना क्या यही करना है कि और कुछ करना है पर एक बात पर मैं बहुत ही दृढ़ निश्चय था कि जिस दिन मन उब जाए उसी दिन निकल जाने का है एक मिनट भी इस काम में नहीं रहना अगर पूरी तरह से दिल से नहीं करने का तो द ट्रिगर पॉइंट वॉज दैट राइट द मोमेंट दैट सीड कम्स इन टू योर हार्ट यू गॉट टू स्टेप आउट आई थिंक आई ओ इट टू टी सी एस ऑल ऑफ अस ओ इट टू टी सी एस दैट दिस सीट वॉज गिवन इन ट्रस्ट एंड आई रिस्पेक्ट दिस सीट एंड इट इज समथिंग दैट आई डोंट टेक लाइटली and uh, it, this is not the seat to sit and think about my future plans this is the seat to sit about <coughs> and think about tcs's future and the moment my future starts becoming part of the uh, thinking process i think it is appropriate that i step away and put somebody else here and that's where it is so uh, it has been a absolute pleasure आपसे हिंदी में बात करने की ज़्यादा मौ, मौके तो आपने कही दिए हमने नहीं लिए बट देखते हैं आगे कभी करेंगे हर्षिता आई लव हिंदी सो मच आई डोंट वॉन्ट टू अब्यूज बाई टॉकिंग इन हिंदी नो एंड बट कमिंग टू द चैलेंज आई डोंट थिंक दर एनी इन सर मोटेबल चैलेंजेस लॉर्ड ऑफ अपॉर्चुनिटीज so how do we leverage and seize those opportunities is a task in front of us i don't look at it as if we have the insurmountable challenges that we need to address them immediately or to worry about them like the concern or the focus would be on uh, how do we seize those opportunities in front of us and uh, make the organization grow and uh, and it's for our customers for our associates as well as i said uh, these are the two pillars and whatever we do will be for those two set of uh, stakeholders and uh, that would be the focus area thank you thank you so much uh, rajesh and kriti uh, thank you to all the journalists that joined in we know that we couldn't accommodate a few questions so please do send us your questions uh, offline and we will definitely try to answer as many as possible once again thank you so much for joining this friday evening goodbye